What's going on, y'all? Conscious one back at you. I uh, hope everybody out there is doing good. I uh, just want to say a few words about, you know, the fact that I was actually headed to Las Vegas from New York. And you guys, I'm glad that you uh, guys have been following my journey um, because I truly feel I'm being guided by the spirit uh, at this point. You know what I mean? Um, and you guys get to be a witness to that. Things I talk about, the things that I do, things that I say. Uh, it's a pleasure to uh, share with you guys and as I'm a witness to what's going on. I wish the Holy Spirit, you know, does things for me, does miracles, uh, puts my enemies in check and doing all this type of stuff. You know, the thing about being an empath, you never want people to get hurt behind. Uh, even when people come against you and, and, and evil, or thinking bad thoughts about you. You know, as an empath, uh, we never want to see people get hurt for any reason, even people who deserve to get hurt. And then the Lord, you know, it's like somebody does something to me and then the Lord does something to them to prove to them of who I am. That's what I believe this is all about. You know, the reason that we in this world uh, being uh, the light of the world as chosen ones, you know, God is going to make an example to people uh, using us as his. Uh, emissaries and uh, it's kind of rough though because you know you see things happening people based on you know uh, the Lord saying you know this this is my uh, disciple and um, I'm telling y'all as an empath you you never want nobody to get hurt behind anything you're saying or doing and that's why another reason why I choose to be uh, to myself these days uh, because I'm carrying around a power that uh, I truly truly uh, don't want anybody to get hurt behind uh, because even I am a witness to this power and even I must, you know, put aside my ego and let this power do what it do. But um, I tell you all, even as a chosen one, you know, we still find ourselves pleading with the Lord not to do this or not to do that, uh, even though individuals may deserve it and stuff like this but i'm telling y'all you know to be used as an example of the power of the holy spirit i'm telling y'all even even i'm just like wow and i know i'm not going to get a lot of views based on things that i say but you know again christ had what 12 disciples he didn't have uh, three three hundred thousand subscribers and followers you know he only had 12 and one of them was uh an enemy in the 12. So that just goes to show you how isolated you can actually be when you come into contact with this power. But um, I just wanted to say, you know, you guys know I was going to be headed to Las Vegas and now you see all the plagues that's going on with Vegas. Uh, we know the incident with the Hoover Dam, whereas the Hoover Dam represents the, uh, the woman <clears throat> that's about to give birth and, uh, which it already did in September, I believe, 2017. You had the astrological sign in heaven, of uh, the sign of the woman and and, and the um, giving birth. But I'm not going to get into that. But, you know, the Hoover Dam has a lot to do with the fallopian tube. And I believe it's the uh, $20 bill or one of the $5 or $20 bill you folded in half. It looks like the water. It looks like the Hoover Dam breaking. You know, and uh, I believe it was in Superman, the Hoover Dam breaking. And then next thing you know, you got now you got this flood. Also, the Hoover Dam where that transformer exploded. It was in the movie Transformers, and exactly where that explosion happened was in the movie Transformers, of the transformer being uh, exploding. Okay, and then now we seeing this thing going on in the sky, uh, where it looks like it's some kind of invasion. They talking about some Chinese space debris. Guys, it's a lot of stuff. Chinese space debris. It's a lot of stuff going <clears throat> going on right now, guys. It's, you can't even wrap your mind about around this stuff. Cause as soon as you get on top of one thing, somebody, something else is happening. You know what I mean? Like time is just really speeding up. But uh, again, I was headed to Vegas and we see all this stuff happening in Vegas now. Now you got the situation with the flood. And uh, yeah, I got the message from Chatty Patty about the flood. Yeah. Yeah. That's well, you know, like I said, the Holy Spirit has guided me telling me where to go, what to do, what to say. And uh, I'm, be I'm beholden to that. You know, I am a witness uh, to the power and the glory of the Most High. And, uh, you know, whether people want to believe that or not, it's, it's irrelevant. You know, 
but yeah, y'all see what's going on in Vegas, the place that I was headed to. And although it has flooded a lot in the past, coming out, you know, like some of the images y'all see coming out of the Link Hotel, you know, it was flooding. Yeah, it floods in that area all the time. But, you know, this particular flood has been really bad. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad I didn't go to Vegas. And also got a warning from a female over there not to come to Vegas. So I'm glad I went where I am now, guys. But I just want to tell y'all that, you know, uh, just more proof I am spiritually being guided right now. And uh, that's about all I want to say, y'all. I'm glad I didn't go to Vegas. Y'all take care. Peace.